Hi, Mike Violette with EspressoEngineering.tv. I'm here catching up with Mark Montrose at the 2011 International Symposium on EMC. Mark, good to see you. Well, thank you for having me here. How are things going? Pleasure, very good. I just want to ask you a few questions. What is the IEEE in general and the EMC Society in particular interested in the current trends and technologies? Well, Mike, EMC engineers need to take a greater look at the global view of engineering and not just focus on their daily activities. Items of interest that are really exciting is the smart grid system. In the news all the time. In the news all the time. Energy creation, distribution, and utilization. How do we manage the infrastructure to make sure that our utility system is working and without any disruption? Terroristic activities, which can include solar flare, software, or anything that can shut us down. Without electricity, we're going to have a hard time surviving. It's a security issue, it really is. Not just economic, but security. Economic and security. And EMC engineers can be employed forever, especially with the aging infrastructure. Other areas that is very critical for EMC are advances in biomedical engineering. Certainly. Again, immunity issues on how do we make sure that all of our instrumentation, communication, wireless networks really work again for the benefit of humanity and for the patients. What I see is also one of the greatest concerns for EMC engineers is when we get into the wireless. Telecommunications. We live in a broadband world. Right now we've got millions of cell phones, radio, telecommunication services. How do we make sure that our communication systems are really working and are operable in a broadband network? Are we really worried about radiated emissions? Everyone's radiating. What about the immunity? Protection against harmful threats. Again, a security issue. Again, a security as, uh, issue, yes. things that you mentioned, that smart grid goes more towards wireless communications. Right. How, how are you going to have robust networks that can continue to operate in times of just normal use and also in uh, potential disaster exactly. scenarios? And to expand it even further, what about intelligent transportation systems? We have automotives, aeronautical, space all communications, all wireless, all control. How do we manage our infrastructure to ensure a safe environment with all of the broadband EMI noise? We are essentially a broadband world. So how is the IEEE doing things to make sure that we're connected to these uh, critical issues and advancing the state of the art? Well, the IEEE is instituting various programs through educational activities such as conferences, which is this, publications, chapter activities, public media, and any means of even through kindergarten through you know, 12th grade seniors prior to university students to make them aware of the need that engineering is a critical part of our environment, our social needs, not just social networking. There's more than using a tool. What about creating the tool? But the key item, which is a tagline of the IEEE, is advancing technology for humanity. We as engineers must concern ourselves with designing products and services that benefit not only us, but humanity as a whole. And we have to continue to do so for the future. Well, as forever. things advance, uh, I see that we're going to continue to be relevant. Oh, we are very opinion. relevant. In fact, we are starting to take the priority area of concern within the field of engineering and it's not just software, but software is great. But remember, software works off of hardware. And if we have an immunity problem with hardware, we have a situation. Well, let's pay close attention to all those issues. It's very important, and that's why coming to the conference to learn about all these great items, articles, presentations that are presented, even from electrostatic discharge, lightning protection, immunity, signal integrity, design, how do we create a robust world? Because we're going to be here for a while, and I would like to see it continue, but most important, what happens, again, if we don't have electricity, because we de keep designing products that use electricity, but we're not building any new power generation, well, and our distribution uh, lines are getting old. Well, lots of things to do. Let's stay keen uh, for this generation and the next. Exactly. Thanks for stopping that's by, Mark. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks.